Glenn Livingston and here at Woodjoy Tools we make our own spokeshave blades. We have eight different blades that we make. Seven of them are made out of A2 steel and the last one is made out of O1. Now what we do with the A2 uh, besides heat treating them is we cryogenically treat them and this helps to retain a sharp edge and along with that we also hollow ground uh, blades on both sides and this makes them easier to sharpen. The one inch blade is 01 and it's still hollow ground and that's this little guy right here if you can see that. Uh, these, these are for detail shaves and in comparison we also uh, go right up to five inches. Now a five inch blade uh, is almost a controlled draw knife size. It, uh, it can remove a lot of wood quickly. And then we have different sizes in between. Um, the thicknesses are uh, heavier that, than, for the most part than what you may find uh, out on the marketplace. A feature of Woodjoy Tools spokeshave blades is their thickness. Now our blades are about 50% thicker than uh, normal blades on the marketplace and the reason that I make them thicker is if you can understand on a hand plane the thicker the hand plane blade the, uh, the less chatter you have and the same relationship works on spoke shaves. That's why a lot of the blades that I make are 3 16 of an inch thick rather than 1 8 of an inch thick. And we go down here 1, 2, 3, 4 blades, 5 blades uh, have that 3 16 thickness uh, and in comparison here is one uh, that's an eighth inch thick and here is uh, pretty much the same size blade uh, if you can see the difference here in thickness um, it's very substantial and this by the way is the uh, spoke shaped blade that uh, comes with the kit that I sell In our machine shop, I'm just showing you a few of the tools that we use to manufacture our products. This is a second operation lathe you're seeing here. This is a, uh, a dedicated tapping machine, another uh, lathe, and one of our milling machines. And here's a process where we're drilling the holes in one of the uh, spoke shape blades. And that's the uh, right size hole so we can then take it to our tapping machine and put the threads in that to accept our machine screws which hold the blade into the wood body. And now we're milling a bevel on the spoke shaped blades. This is a milling machine operation. And from here, the blade goes to a heat treater, and when it comes back, we hollow grind both sides of the blade. This is the process here. The uh, coolant helps to keep the blade nice and cool, uh, so we don't overheat and uh, put any stress on the blade. And here you see the finished product. After the spokeshave blade comes off the grinding process, it leaves a small burr on the edge, and I take that off on, on my stones. I start with a diamond stone, uh, it's 600 grit, and I just have to uh, make several passes on both sides, and this will take the burr off. It's a fairly quick process. When you receive your Woodjoy spokeshave blade, you're going to want to hone it. 
and there's several different methods you can use. Uh, I prefer oil stones, but if you have diamond stones, uh, water stones, sandpaper on glass, any of these methods work, and I'll show you how easy it is. Now this is a, a thousand grit uh, stone right here, and I'm skewing the blade. Uh, I'm doing that so the, the whole bevel makes contact with the stone. And just a few strokes like this on one side, and you flip it over and do the same thing on the other. Um, so we go right from the thousand grit to the hot Arkansas. And this is about a 4,000 grit stone. Just a few passes on either side is how I typically sharpen. You can go further than that if you like. Uh, you can even bring it to a mirror finish. It's very quick and easy, and I'll show you why. How a grind really helps uh, to speed up the sharpening process. You're only sharpening the tip of the blade and the very bottom edge on both sides, on the flat side and on the bevel side. So you, you just hit here and here. To demonstrate uh, the shot with a piece of paper, there we go.